this is Caleb. Um, I don't really make YouTube videos a lot. I make mostly Instagram and TikTok. So, um, yeah, we're we gonna try it though. We're gonna try to do it like once a week though. Today we got bench. Um, my gym partner is probably not gonna be here since it's dome early. It's, yeah, I don't know if you can see, but it's, it's 6 six thirty two. is what that says. But he's not gonna be, he's probably not gonna make it for quite a while. He's probably still sleeping. Um, but this is the only chance I had for today. So we're gonna get into it. We're gonna go dummy intense. Um, thinking I wanna be able to hit 275 on bench in like a month. So I'm training bench pretty hard. And then I'm gonna do like probably like one other exercise for hypertrophy and probably do three or four sets of just dumb intense. You'll, you'll, you'll see what I do. Um, It'll do some ladder raises and yeah, let's get into it. Probably talk to him through it. Let's go. All right, one thing I always do, um, I always do a hard warm up. So I already hit 45. Yeah, I already just did the bar. I'm back. Alright, so I'm coming off of a um, broken elbow, so I'm really going pretty light. I'm weak today, man. 495 felt heavy, which is like that for 7, man. Alright, it's on 265. And 185 is 200, so a couple weeks of not training, push just hurt. Man. This is my second push workout since I broke my elbow. So. I tried, I thought I was putting 235 on, I put 245 on, and I freaking failed it. It was stupid because I could used to get that for 283, man. This, this cell would thing really hurt, man. Alright, we're gonna hit. I got 235 on now, we're gonna get it, so. See. 235. It's gonna be easy. We got it. Happy form, but it went up, so hey, whatever. Alright, so since my elbow is pretty weak, um, I find I'm um, substituting for it with a lot of leg drive, so I'm working on using almost zero leg drive right now, which is why I'm dumb light. I hit my elbow so much, man. He set me back like 25, almost 50 pounds, man. I used to do 225 for 5, and I can, yeah. Can't do that no more. You don't get back at it. Let's go.
All right, so camera ran out of battery. Um, I told y'all I don't do this much, especially for YouTube. So I don't do long videos. So this is probably pretty boring. Um, yeah, pretty boring push session for y'all. Um, I went really hard though. I did a lot of lateral raises. I went till gravity felt really dumb, heavy, which was really weird. All right, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I don't like videoing around people, okay? I don't do this that much, so now I'm outside. But yeah, so there's a mental barrier. You got your physical barrier. Your physical barrier is how much you can actually do, your actual fitness level, right? Your mental barrier is how much your mind wants to do. Your mind quits way before you physically quit, okay? You get to a big point where your mind's like, okay, I don't want to do another rep. I can't do another rep. Yeah, if you force it to, it'll be able to push two or three more reps. So most people, when they're training to failure, they don't actually train to failure. They train two or three reps short of failure, man. Because they don't go past the mental barrier, man. But that's something that I really try to push, especially, especially the day I was really pushing it. I went down to 2.5s and went to failure on 2.5s on lateral raises. It was, it was dumb. I think I got one video of it before my um, actual camera died. But you really have to te train your mind, train your mind to be mentally strong, to be able to push past that mental barrier and to be able to do a lot more. A lot of training is all mental, man. I'd almost say that working in the gym trains your mental more than your physical, okay? Because just working, it's just, it trains your discipline it trains your dedication. It gives you mentally, mental strength so when you go through these hard times in life, it will transfer over. Going to failure in the gym can transfer over to going to failure, to, to failing in real life too. Like, you, you, grow, you grow from your failures at the gym, which is why you chase failure at the gym, right? Now in real life, you don't always chase. And in real life, you get down when you fail, right? In real life, you're sad when you fail. You, you don't like failing. But if you transfer it over, you learn from your failures. You learn from your mistakes. You grow from all your failures. So just take that mindset and run with it, man. Working in the gym honestly works more mental than physical, which is something that, I don't know, I'm big on. A lot of people are mentally weak. Oh, they don't got the discipline. They don't got the motivation to go to the gym all the time. Well, I don't always want to go to the gym all the time either, man. I really don't. Sometimes I wake up in the morning, I'm like, nah, I want to sleep an extra 30 minutes. I only got like five hours of sleep. That was this morning, I got like four hours of sleep, man. I'm like, oh man, I do not want to go. But you know what? We still went. Why? Because we're getting mentally strong. So just keep at it, keep pushing. And yeah, see you all in the next video.